I had a dream that I was driving in a car and there was somebody in back of me. I think it was my granddaughter, but I'm not sure. Somebody was sitting in the back seat and I needed some guy to do a job for me. I needed him to work for me some kind of way. The dream didn't reveal what it was that I needed him to work on. But in the dream, as he was doing his job, I wanted to minister to him, which is something that I do often. I was telling him in the end, there will be two different groups of Israelites. I said in the end days, there will be two different groups of Israelites. And I said that one group is Judah. And I said another group is Israel. And in the dream, as I was saying that to him, I saw a vision and the vision showed three groups, but the first group was blank. And then in terms of the Israelites, it was separated between Judah and Israel. Now, the group that was blank, I think, just represented everybody else. That's not Israelites. I think that's what that was. And that's what it felt like in a dream. I was thinking to myself that that's everybody else. But I was just telling him about the different groups of Israelites. And the guy was African-American that I was talking to. And in the dream, I wanted to tell him about the mark of the beast. That was my objective, was to warn him about the mark of the beast. But I was telling him that first, because this is what I do a lot of times when I'm ministering. I will get a sense of the person, whether or not I should even tell them about the mark of the beast, because I'm trying to get a sense from them to perceive whether or not they took it. Because if he took it, I was saying to myself in a dream, I'm not going to warn him about it because he already took it and it's no point to even talk to him about anything. I literally said that in a dream, like it's no point. And so in the dream, he finished the work that he was doing for me in my car. And for some reason, when we was in the car, we was in some kind of drive through. Yeah, it was like I was in a drive through and I was driving up to the window to get something, but I needed him to do a real quick job. And the job that he did was $7. And I gave him a $2 tip, but I wanted to give him a $5 tip. And I was having trouble finding. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to say this. There was a part in a dream as he was doing whatever job he was doing for me that he stumbled across a book I had in my car. Wow, how can I forget to say this part? Yeah, that was a time when he was doing the work for me and he stumbled across this book that was in my car. And it was a book of maps. It was my book. It was like all these different maps. And then I had different currencies. And in the dream, it was my money, but it was like these currencies from all over the world. He looked at that as he was in my car. And then I took the book from him and I closed it. And I said, Money as we know it will be done away with it. I was saying there will be no more money exchanged, that that will be done. And everyone it will have a different currency. And in the dream, I was thinking that they would have the chip. They would be chipped with the mark of the beast. <laughs> I can't go into detail of what I mean. When I say mark of the beast, I'm talking about something specific that people are getting right now. And I have to say that part because that'll help some people to understand what I mean when I say Mark of the Beast. Be careful, you guys, because I say Mark of the Beast in my videos a lot. And I'm talking about something that people are all getting right now. I was thinking in a dream like they would have to have the Mark of the Beast, which is something a lot of people are getting. And they will be chipped. I was saying it was this additional thing of being chipped. But what they're getting right now is the Mark of the Beast. OK, let me make sure I explain that because there are false prophets that's going around trying to say that no, it's, it's not the mark of the beast. It's some new chip that's coming out later. No, in this dream, I said point blank that I was thinking it point blank. I didn't say it out loud because I was getting a sense that he had the mark of the beast already, that he ar had already had it. And I was realizing that it was a waste to even talk to him. But I was just thinking in my mind, I said, yeah, they would have the mark of the beast. And an additional chip is what I was thinking, that they would have this other chip and it will be the currency and there will be no more currency as we know of. And I want to say this too, in end time prophecy, there is two different types of Israelite groups. The Bible does talk about Judah and it talks about Israel. That's because the groups were split so you see a lot of times in end time prophecy, the Lord talking about Judah 
And then he talks about Israel or he'll talk about Judah. And then he'll talk about the sister of Samaria and things of that nature. So it's two different groups of Israelites. And that's what I was saying in this dream. And in terms of the currency, my youngest daughter had a dream where she saw the currency, but her dream was symbolic. It was this blue currency and it was symbolic. And I remember somebody saying in the comment section that they thought that was Bitcoin or something. I don't know, but it was a symbolic dream that she had, I do believe. But this time in this dream, I was saying point blank, that will be an additional chip and that will be the currency. And I do say additional chip because the mark of the beast that people are taking has chips in it, has nanobots in it. Those are tiny RFID chips. So they already chipped. And I was literally thinking that in the dream. But when I realized I perceived that he was evil, I perceived that he was aggressive and I perceived that he had already taken the mark of the beast. So I was like, there's no point in continuing this conversation. So I just went ahead. At first I found him $2 and then I finally found the five and I gave him the $5 bill plus the seven. And you know, that was it. I just gave him his money and I saw him walking away and I was just like, yes, yeah, no point in talking to him. And then I was going up to this drive through And the more I think about it, I don't think it was a food drive through I think it was like a bank teller drive through I'm almost positive now that I'm thinking more into this. I think it was a bank teller drive through that I was in. So anyway, that was the dream that I had just, you know, confirming these two different types of Israelites. After Solomon, who was wicked and evil, the Lord divided his kingdom. He gave 10 tribes to another group, and that group became the tribe of Israel. And then Solomon's son took over his group, and his group was called Judah. So there was a separation. And that's what this dream is saying. Yes, there are Israelites, but it was literally saying there are two different types of Israelites. Like there is Israel and there is Judah. And anyway, that was the dream that I had. Praise be to God. Thank you, Father, for this dream. I give you all the glory, Lord. God bless you all. Bye.